You were quite punctual. You bet. Sup, and welcome aboard the Argo, the vessel of Nine Valley's new high-speed transport service. Uh, our pilot is a child. We might have been better off on the ground. I'll have you know that I'm a licensed pilot. And that's real rich coming from you guys. You look like a bunch of kids about to go on a picnic with their daddy to me. Ooh, we got burned. Phew, <sighs> but boy, did I not see your daddy's ID coming. Who knew my mystery client would turn out to be our former Governor General, Rufus Alborea? Oops. What, do you prefer Supreme Leader now? Please, if I knew I'd be repeating myself so soon, I would have gathered my audience. That title is not mine. But then... I'm confused. Who's Rufus? That's this guy's real name. C was a nickname. So it's Rufus, huh? Hmm. I think it's much cuter than C. I give it 85 points! Ooh, he kicked your butt, S. Why would I care when I don't even get what criteria she's basing these on? So are you famous then, Rufus? Everyone seems to know who you are. He's not just famous, he's super famous. He's the elder son of House Alborea, one of the four great houses of Erebonia, and he became Crossbell's first Governor General. Together with the Empire's Chancellor and Crown Prince, he led the country to all-out war. But then he got arrested after it ended. That's all the big common knowledge stuff, but trust me, I know all about the skeletons in his closet. Wow, you're so smart, Nadia. Is knowing part of handling the unpleasant side of things? Wow, you're so smart, Rufus. Can she try not to stir up trouble with him?
I wonder what it's like to have a sibling. Do I have any out there? I can pet him later on. I'm afraid this side of the deck is occupied. You'll have to sleep elsewhere. I wasn't planning to sleep out here. Oh? Then what's brought you outside? I wanted to go stargazing. What about you? I wanted to take in the night air. Since we're both here, there's something I'd like to ask. What is it? I know that you're a famous man, but are you a good man or a bad man? 
<laughs> bad, though that would be putting it mildly. So very bad? Very, very bad. I have used anything and everything to advance my interests, be it titles, fame, or even those pure of heart. There is little point in feigning a moral compass when human lives hold no value to me, or acting chivalrous when all that does is hinder me. Do you still feel that way? I do. I'm using you, Swin and Nadia, to bring my designs to fruition, am I not? I'm also using those we met in the capital, like my brother. None of that sounds like something someone good would do, yes. You really are a very bad man. I'm glad we could come to an understanding. So, armed with that knowledge, what do you intend to do? Am I supposed to do something? I suppose a doll has no reason to care if a human is good or evil. Being a doll has nothing to do with it. So were you hoping I would admonish you? Or perhaps comfort you? Of course not. Okay, then I still intend to do nothing. Whether I praise you for your deeds as a hero, or chastise you for your misdeeds as a villain, it won't change you at your core. You are who you are. Just how does humanity look through your lens for you to think in such simple terms? I don't know. I can't answer that when I'm still learning about what it means to be human. All I can say is, I don't see if you're good or bad, where you're from, or how you were raised. I don't see what you've done or haven't done, what you possess or what you lack, because none of those are what make you exist as a person. So it can't be that you suddenly don't exist just because someone decides to reject those parts of you. That's uh, quite a philosophical approach to the matter. Or... Perhaps that objective thinking is the most one of artificial intelligence can fathom. I don't know. How could I know? Just to me, being is what makes a human a human. Perhaps you're right. And so, it's what makes you, you. <sighs> Perhaps you're right. I... I don't remember the exact moment I began to search for meaning in my life. My father elected to raise me as his own son, irrespective of the fact I was born because his wife laid with another man. He did so with the same ease he rejected his flesh and blood because he was born from a common woman. When I learned the truth, I finally understood that House Alberea wanted me not as a human being, but as a product of noble blood. It was so hard to bear that it made me sick. Was that all? Was that the only reason I existed? I refused to accept it. I couldn't take it. And as I turned my eyes from this terrible truth, a new, more terrible thought dawned upon me. If that was not the reason I existed, then what was? That was when I met him. It is said we seek that which we do not have. Through him, I sought the father I never had. I convinced myself that if I did as sons do and became more than he ever was, then I would understand the real reason for my existence. And there it was. At last, I had a goal, something to pursue. I stopped at nothing to make that goal a reality. There was no effort too ambitious, no principle too sacred to violate. But no matter what I did, it still wasn't enough. Everything I had done to secure my victory had led to a resounding, humiliating defeat. A defeat at the hands of my own brother who, despite his unfortunate upbringing, had grown into someone strong and true. I envied him for that, but perhaps I should have known all along that a mere product could never hope to have a real, genuine purpose. 
The whole predicament would have been worth a laugh had it not been so deeply painful. Why am I here? What is my reason for being? Who am I? You are who you are. I don't see what you've done or haven't done, what you possess or what you lack, because none of those are what make you exist as a person. Just to me, being is what makes a human a human. <laughs> Such nonsense. I thought you weren't planning to sleep out here. I'm unsure if dolls are capable of catching colds, but I believe you've taken in the stars enough for one night.
So, where should we start our search? The administrative district? Hmm, could be flying a little too close to the sun. But then again, sometimes that's what you gotta do to nab something juicy. Very astute. Indeed, the higher the risk, the greater the reward. I don't see why we shouldn't go there at some point, personally. <sighs> How dull. As you well know, Western Zemuria is in a lamentable state. Jirai and North Ambria have become frequent targets of terrorism, and racial conflict remains rife throughout the Calvert Republic. Evil is no longer a seedling to be uprooted with ease. It has bloomed and dispersed corruption across the entire continent. Yet all hope is not lost. I ask that you remember the ideals of the late Blood and Iron Chancellor, Gilead Osborne. He understood that if we could not eradicate evil in parts, that we must then be united as a whole through armed might. If we forego a unified system to divide and allocate our resources where they are best needed, we will never know true peace. That is why I, Rufus Alborea, the successor to His Excellency's legacy, have vowed to bring our many great nations together. We cannot let evil continue to sow its seeds. We must fight back for the sake of humanity's future, for the sake of our world's future. And should any neighboring country to which I extend this warm invitation refuse, they will receive due judgment for their arrogance.
Gratioria. Over here. Check out all the dolls! It's LP as far as the eye can see! Hmm. I'll thank you to remember that I'm a Rosenberg doll. I'm in a different league compared to those garden variety specimens. And yet, some of these were in fact made by the studio of which you speak. Really? Oh, you're right! This perfectly sculpted masterpiece is unmistakably a Rosenberg. You have our thanks. Now, would you prefer Angel of Slaughter or Ren Bright? Call me whatever you like, Jade Ruck. I suspected something wasn't right about our new supreme leader. And seeing you explains why. I've heard you were an astute one, and you do not disappoint. Someone you know? Not on a personal level, no. But we are familiar with one another's backgrounds. I honestly didn't expect to meet you quite like this. Though, truth be told, my interest is mostly in her.
well are those customers I spy. <laughs> what a peculiar bunch you are. My turn now. If you ain't buying, then get out.
How could you, Nadia? How could you think to sell me off to that woman? Oh, how could I when your cuteness is Ready worth a fortune? I wouldn't want to insult you by cheaping out. I'm that cute? Well, that is true. I forgive you. This was an alarming about face. Was agreeable. <laughs> Ready whenever. <laughs> Easy. Slay on sight. Criminals raid. <laughs> Think you can handle this? Meet your end! Wide open! Little help here? I accept. <laughs> it's me! Should be around here. Found ya! Up you go! Ready there! Now! Asking for it! All right. What a waste of time that was. But of course. <laughs> Easy. Slay on sight. Criminals raid. Very well. <laughs> Think you can handle this? Meet your end! Okay. Target locked. It's me! Should be around here. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Ready whenever. <laughs> Fortune favors the clever. Slay on sight. Criminals raid. <laughs> Think you can handle this? Meet your end! Marches! Too late! Hey! Target locked! They're down! You're up! All right. Now plane! Come, Ren! Allow me! <laughs> It's me! Are you ready? Bye! Got you! Ask it for it! <laughs> ready? Target locked! <laughs> How shall we play? Whee! Dabby! Hey, hey, fly away! I'm guard. Slay on sight! Criminals raid! I'll take care of it. Cut you down! Now play! No problem. <laughs> now then. No choice. <laughs> Here goes. That ought to do it. Not much of a surprise. <laughs> 